have no ranged weapon, which is sad. Wish there was like a sit button where I could just sit and feel sorry for myself. I'll just loot. I'll loot a tooth. <laughs> That's my turn. I just looted a tooth. Oh, come on, Shadowheart. I appreciate you actually hitting, but... Nice. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Yep. Open the gate. Everyone, inside, inside, inside. But what were the grubby little beasts after? Everyone, quickly, inside. I mean, I've got to loot, but I mean, I'm not looting. Um, I dropped something. I hold left shift. There's no red zones, meaning it's safe to quickly loot him. And holding right alt it just highlights everything. Yeah, I agree. I've never done the dual crossbow. I think I had it on when I was doing my paladin on YouTube and whatnot. I had a crossbow, and they're they're really fun. I find with the gloom sport like stalker builds. It just needs a lot of setup. And it's not that I'm lazy, it's just like, again, I don't. I'm not a fan of metagaming that, like, it bores me a bit. I like fights like this, even if they look like. Well, I'm not doing well, but you know what I mean. Children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Um, one fight just ended. Now you're picking another one. Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. I tried. <laughs> I tried. With a thunk, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Enough. Down goes the goblins of Foreman. No doubt the beast Down will be goes back. Foreman. We need to pack up and leave immediately. Bigger fighting goblins as they for once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. <laughs> now that's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Maldwell. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Um, seems a bit arrogant, isn't it, druid? Outsiders, perhaps, but not me. It seems a bit arrogant. I will say, I don't know what's happening yet, I suppose. Druid, outsiders... I don't know why I had to say the word druid then. Outsiders, perhaps, not, but not me. Lucky you. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Um, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Corga, their new first druid, 
won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Um, I'll see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. <laughs> We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Alt shift, no one's looking. Astarian, ungroup everyone. Hide Astarian, what are you doing? <gasps> Astarian. I don't know what the key is for, but I'll steal it. And I'll take that as well. Failed, but no one spied me. <gasps> Not you as well, Gail! <gasps> the sticky hands everyone's got. My druid is very upset with everyone. So you got a thief's tool. I wouldn't mind the trap disarm. Thank you. Right now, stop it, all of you. You're terrible. I can't take you anywhere. Jeez. Um, I'll do a short rest just so I get my animal form back. Should find my step. Because the bugbear up here. Some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. You were talking to her. A series ago, I would have Eldridge blasted you both. Now look at me. Taking the high road, you were literally talking to her, then you told me off for talking to you. It's because I'm a druid. Damn tieflings. I'm with the druids. Get them out. <laughs> that was a weird noise that she made then. Right, let's go wild shape. Let's go. So bear has 30 hit points. That's crazy. 13. So let's try the wolf this time. Oh, that's cool. I like how she turns into the wolf. That's badass. That is really badass. Gather your pack. Each ally within earshot can move an additional three meters. Does that stack with long strider? Let's have some fun. So a Starion can move to about here, so we'll say in between these rocks. Can't even catch my breath. Is an action, but I want to do it. So each ally within earshot. That's gonna stack, isn't it? Time to kill. Jeez, that's a lot. That is so good. Uh, if I move there, holding left shift, he can't see me. I then go hide. I then go sneak attack. Yeah, that's really strong. Like, and the reason why I want to do this, because when you, like, look at builds, especially with the druid, they're like, just go into bear and whatnot. But it's like a case like this where we're miles away from combat, going into wolf to allowing a starion to literally go where he wants. Like... That's crazy. Yeah, and with jump. Yeah, that's a good point. Obviously, a starion doesn't want to be there. For a dull moment. Um, I mean, my wolf can just go there. It doesn't really matter. Actually, I probably shouldn't let that get into combat with me. Oh, Shadow hearts are bad. 
example. Like Lazelle would probably be better. I forgot I don't even have. Like I'm literally like a centimeter off with a Halberg. That's like first turn. I should have went up there and then fired it with advantage. It's like Gale, someone that never has movement. With haste. Like that's really strong. And I like the idea that I can use different forms for different instances. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Oh, I rolled a natural 20. I was about to say that was a good hit. Can I loot in wolf form as well? That's nice. These boots have seen so you're saying I can just chat? You are unable to speak. No, I can't do it anymore. You are unable to speak. Time to pack it in for the day, I think. Nip at a target and distract it. If your attack hits, the next attack against the target from within 1.5 meters will be a critical hit. That's... Okay, I like Wolf. Obviously, I suppose the thing is with Bear is like, I'm less likely to get knocked out of it. But it's like when I'm at the point where I can like cast it multiple times, it's not really going to be like a crazy thing. That's why I'm thinking of running like Karlak beside me. Not really sure. Anyway, I'm going to quickly go for two second break. Actually, time me. It'll be two seconds. It'll be amazing. Literally two seconds. Well, not, but still. Oh, no, I'm not even clicked on the screen. Zoom. Cool. All right. Back to the stream. Yeah, and I think, like, I love Baldur's Gate so much. That's the only reason why I stream it, because it's just, like, I just want to... I just want to play it for hours on end. So good. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Um, coin mistress, you lost me. You almost seem honest. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> Considering what I've seen, 
You'd be surprised. But if you're not here for the coin, I'd rather enjoy the quiet. There's not much of it anywhere else. Um... A mine flare abducted me and its ship went straight to a furnace. Like. <laughs> Double fives. A mighty eight. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. Thank you very much. Right, what I need to get used to, or I need to get better at, Add to wares. So I never do this. Then I have to spend like all year. Right. Add to wares. Because while we're having a nice time, at the same thing, we do have to do some of this stuff. Right, and now I need to gear up. So, what weapons? Character sheet. Simple weapons. Javelins, daggers, clubs, maces. Martial weapons. Or oh, scimitars. Scimitars are cool. Jahira has scimitars. I want scimitars. Can I dual wield scimitars like Jahira? Well, I've only got one, so apparently not. That's pretty badass. Gail, do you want a hat? Hey, this is the important stuff that you do when you play, do you know what I mean? Right, so... Harper's Notebook. Did that tell us anything? A tacked collection of reports held together with a moon and harp seal. There is frequent mention of sacrilegious activities among a local saluna. Interesting. Add to wares. We have got some gloves. So on a hit with a weapon attack, possibly inflict minus d4 damage so basically a little old bane at the moment the best person to have them is a starium for sure then add to the wares so basically when we get to a trader it's all done yeah get rid of the quarter staff is there rope needed for anything? I've never used rope. Right, add to wares. Nice, nice, and nice. Look at me. I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> oh, we have some fun. Add to wares. A helmet there. Give that to a Starion just for the meantime. We looted all that, nicked all that. Use telescope. Peer through the telescope. I can't wait to fight dragons and whatnot. Let me look. Let me look in his eyes. A score like that, I see so much. I see every scale of that dragon. It teases me just for a second. No one likes a tease.
I always get stuck in this cutscene. It's fine. I like the view, the jokes on you the game. You see a dragon circling like a bird of prey. And the telescope points to the left. I never knew if this was meant to actually like show anything. The telescope points straight ahead. You can still hear it. <laughs> it's funny, you can yeah, you can actually hear it through the telescope. It's fine. The telescope points to the right. That's where the fast fists are. Have a lot on my mind. Question mark. And well, in it. What path lies before me? We ain't got a shovel yet. Should be able to turn into a bear and dig it. It's the bear necessities. Let's see what I did there. Oh, this little squirrel. Quick word. Get out! The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. Oh, you terror. What was that for? You're trespassing. This is my territory. Persuasion. There's plenty of room for the both of us. Chill. <sighs> if it bites me again, I'm going to dark urge it, I swear. <laughs> Now get moving. I'm tired of looking at you. Dark Urge was right all along. <laughs> Can I talk to him again? What did I tell you? Clear out. Okay. Uh, that's back up there. It's the dead body up here gone. Yeah. The goblins were rising from the dead. I wonder how the druids are going to act with me. Can I wake him up? First, I damn near die at the hands of goblins. Then... A foul blood takes his frustrations out on me. I'm done with this hellhole. Oh. Those two must have history. Never mind their history. Let's look for help. Yep, good point. A hollow. I'll go talk to these, then I'll come back to the trader. Take your time. No, you just care about your just stupid apprentice. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Uh, you should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Need to get some inspiration, I mean. That sounded really bad. <laughs> it's been so long since I had some really good inspiration. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Alright, let's go sell to the trader. Refugees, 
adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? I lower my prices for fellow druids. Interesting. Be quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. No, I want to do that this side. Um, last time that I played the Dark Urge, I made a point, because I love them sort of things. I'm glad you said that was epic. I love them sort of like last stand. I love how my character's like ass is right in shot. Like it has to have that. <laughs> um, yeah, I love them sort of things where it's like last stand. I'm, I'm not sure the best way to take out the goblin leaders and i actually think that might be a very good way to at least take her out i'm very nervous of i can't remember the red tiefling rog something um oh. <laughs> yeah basically but basically it's like a geometry lesson like look at the curvature <laughs> um are you really locking down the grove i know it's drastic but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day uh, what about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. Do you know what? I'm a druid. Dire times, high stakes, I understand. You sound just like Korga. <laughs> but it had to come to this. I pray to Sylvanus each night. The Wildfather will protect those refugees. I hope. I'm not having that, because I know what you say if I pick the other option, like. Uh, I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. Nettie could put you to rights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. Ah, uh, what you said, just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Interesting. He talks to me a lot. Not oh, look. The attitude just because I'm um, a druid. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. Also, I sell all my wares automatically. Bang. Oh, that's so nice. Is there anything here that I want? Because I'm really bad for just like... Oh, that looks cool. Just buy that. Once per short rest, you regain a level 1 spell slot. It's like, armor doesn't really matter to me, does it? So, I don't know, like, rings and whatnot. I don't know how I know... If it still affects me in when I've shaped. I don't think there's anything I really want here. Let me work my magic. Be careful, I bind. Like arrows down the line maybe, but not this like particular second. Sylvanus, guide your path. God, it's nice to get some respect, do you know what I mean? Can I talk to all the oxes? Be gone. I am hungry. <laughs> I love speak with animals. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or ox. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Um. Shiny bits? The tieflings put something in your hay. Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. 
Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. <laughs> Got 15 experience for that. Okay. Addressing me, a humble ox. How quaint. There's something strange about this ox. Yeah, this is the best game ever. Like, it's. I watched the creators made, um, had an interview about like all the stuff they'd put in, and like every time they put something in, they made sure it was like meaningful. For example, like speaking of animals and we can just speak to all these animals and it's like they were going to put dispel magic in the game, but like the um, apparently the amount of work that it would have taken would have been like crazy. And this is why I really wanted to do a druid playthrough. I know you can get speak with animals with other classes, but it just feels a bit more thematical with a druid, if you know what I mean. isn't what it appears to be there's more than meets the eye care to explain no you are incapable oh no now you've got me curious persuasion tell me more tell me more tell me all your secrets I want your bank number I want your house key I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. <laughs> Did he just I'm moo at me? Here for you. He just moo at me. <laughs> Nothing here for you. Moo. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. I find it always very curious that the druids are not defending this place. It seems very odd. Again. Swing and swing. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Takes out wheels of eye. <laughs> Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You'll do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. So you must have been picked up as we were already on. As we went through Avernus, we saw that. So they must have been picked up at the same point, Will and um, Karlak. Another escapee. Thank the gods, I need all the friends I can get. Better friends than the ones hitching a ride in our skulls, at least. Exactly. I'm sure you know the stories. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. They say there's no coming back. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so 
Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Which call me? Um... Hunting in the hells, a dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Um. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still. When the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. What's worse, someone that refers to themselves in third person or someone that refers to themselves in third person with their own nickname? <laughs> Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Now, I've done Paladin. Um, so before Honor Mode came out on like my normal playthrough on the channel, I did a Paladin. So, but a throwing build is very, very interested to me, but I don't know where I get the spear from. That's the problem. I still haven't completed this game. Um, I'm too interested with all the challenges and stuff like that. Um, I don't know where to find the spear, because there's a spear, um, no, a javelin that always comes back, a forever returning or something like that. But yeah, a throwing build interests me. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. Um. Bad news, children. You're all gonna die. Oh, jeez. Be strong. Watch over your kin. And in, in trust there is a victory. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Well. Very sad. Stuff like that never used to bother me. Then I had kids, and it's like. You realize, yeah. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Are you alright? Anything on your mind? Mm. He's still staring right past you. Turn around to see what he's looking at. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Interesting. Fad of perception, so. See, all this. Oh, no, that kid can see me. Hold out your hand, lady. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. That was a fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. Take the ring. Call it. Heads or tails? Tails never fails. No. They would know. I was going to do tails. In knowing that the most popular option must be tails never fails. So I'm going to do heads. Heads or tails? Take the 
heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Real cheap too. Interested? Yeah. Um Oh. The goblin merchant. So would I need to pickpocket the goblin merchant? To get the the javelin. Um hold on, one to coin toss doesn't prove anything. Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. Tails. We got tails! There. Happy? Yeah, take your ring back. I want to see your wares. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Found a perception. Just loads of whole chickens and... Ring of resistant to ants. A gob of sea traps studded with dead ants occupies the space where the ring stone once sat. That's amazing. Ring of infinite wishes. The exterior of this ring is roughly carved with nonsensical ruins. Ring of Lickensons? Small pebble swings from a length of fishing line tied to this copper ring. That's funny. And loads of dies. Nothing caught you. Oh. You suddenly feel something moving against <gasps> your back and turn. Them little. They were pickpocketing me. I'm gonna do detect forts, because I never do detect forts. Oh. I know I was robbed now. <laughs> Turn into a but don't you run away, I will turn into a bear and eat you. What's that? Not a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, there is a chance I'll fit in there. Oh, look, a cat. Well, You're not look the... who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Messing with our business. Yeah? You scared the life out of little Silphy. Now, you're going to pay for it. You're right, I won't mess with your gang again. Oh, why has it got to be 15 as a kid? Boom! Doesn't matter if it's 15. Rolling skills, party people. Rolling skills. Is that right? Fine. You get one more chance. We're done here. Get lost! Oh. Little slow on the uptake, what? aren't you? Any reason you're still here? Um. Little slow on the uptake. Has the game glitched? You? I told you to leave. Ah. Uh, what happens next? The game's glitching. Never see us coming. The gate will never see us coming. That is a bit weird. That is a shame. I don't actually know how to get out. I'm gonna be honest. Oh no, now I am lost. Stop me yet. Yeah, that was a weird glitch. One, because it didn't tell me how to get out. 
too. I think because I was stuck in that that animation. Like it was, yeah. Pull switch. Ladder. I mean, I've annoyed them. I don't think they would attack me. The problem is I don't even... I'm just going to go short rest. I don't think they will attack me. I'm just going to go short rest just in case. Because without my bear form, I am pretty... I know they've told me to go away, but I feel like they've just all ran away anyway. What? Okay. Yeah, I think it's all just lies and whatnot, but that was just a bit weird. Okay, now I know that um, coming out of Wild Shape has the potential to do that. I'll be a little bit more careful in the future of like Wild Shaping away from people. Because obviously it treated my... I imagine it treated my coming out of mechanics as me doing something. So then the game was like, oh, stop doing that. If that makes sense. Alright, come on, gang. I might be able to win their favour by helping um, others around here, so we'll see. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn. And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashab, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <sighs> Neat trick. Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! Uh, I'm, a druid, I'm a druid, same as you. Allow me to pass and pay my respects, please. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Thanks. Ah, oh, this is one of my favourite characters. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. For a scholar like you, ask away, my man. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You'd search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Uh, I'll give him an exact description. He's a scholar, do you know what I mean? Why would I lie? Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. <laughs> and the dragon that had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Um. Yeah, because I have no idea, knowledge. My character has no knowledge on dragons. Brass? Witness mistook obvious silver dragon for brass. <laughs> Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the absolute. The scandal. 
Goblin superstition not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Be careful, goblins aren't known for, um, mercy. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. <laughs> Until we meet again. Volo the Great. Oh, that, I had never talked to the bear before. <laughs> Volo, what are you saying? Just a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colourful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. <laughs> he can't understand them. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? I traveled a long way. The man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. <laughs> Come on. All the druids oh, can that's understand so funny. Me. I The man nods. It has... I smell drama amongst these adventurers. What have you heard? Mm. That's funny. What's down here? I don't think I've actually been down here before. A random bar? He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Um, who are you looking for? Master. He left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones. And I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. Hmm. Don't worry, he'll be back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for Master. Recognize his um, voice. I can get over there, can't I? Uh, I need to be a little bit careful. I'm still only level two. That looks jumpable for sure. Wow. Colour me happy. Scroll of blink. At the end of your turn, roll a d20. On 11 or higher, you vanish into the eternal plane. While there, you can't be harmed or seen in this world. It has its place, I don't know. I mean, in honor mode, it could be a massive, like, panic button, I guess. Nope. Okay, cool. Yeah, I imagine the Loring song from the Harpies would still work. It's just a different... So there's a few things that I need to understand with Druid. Is what animals or what wild shapes... Because when I go into the wild shape, my strength, my cons all my stats change. So I need to learn... Because there might be a certain wild animal that's not affected by that. So what I might have to do is maybe go on to a playthrough on, like, balanced mode and then just go on all of them to see if there's one cre one like, maybe the bear's constitution, which it probably is saying out loud, is higher than the rest of them, making sure that none have, like, um, resistances or stuff, because then it might, that could be very, very interesting. Oh, there's a, um, a primer on mythical beasts. 
Oh, that's awesome. The miniature giant space hamster. That's, um, Boo. Minsker's, um, very little known as, very little is known about this particular cryptid through story, so they tend to choose well muscled human males as their steeds when they, <laughs> that's so cool. According to legend, this creature retains a wellspring of indestructible power known only to itself, though it provides its steeds with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage. Rumours claim the creature has a taste for human eyes. <laughs> that's awesome. That's nice, I haven't seen that before. Scribbled note. Keep away from Tuffet. She is lazy asses. <laughs> Fair enough. We won't do the harpies yet. I've tried doing the harpies at level two. Um, it can go very, very, very bad. I thought you were housing. The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate. Oh, chase. Well, at least the sun is nice. You should try it. Lay down and bask in its warmth. Okay, speak with animals is the best. I'm planning on really enjoying this playthrough and just like seeing everything, taking our time. What? Tough up. Oh, that's the note. Don't disturb Tuffet. Ah, oh, that's probably the reason why the elevator doesn't work. I'm Throw a fish next to the elevator. Huh? What's that? Oh, got the elevator to work. That's cool. I'm trying not to nick that key and talk to the birds. Shh, I'm concentrating. Does this look good? Is the coin in the middle? Um. It's <laughs> slightly off, push it to the right. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's it. That's funny. Can I talk to it anymore? Yes. Yes. This is perfect. Oh, no, I don't want to kick out the bat. Can I take the resources here, or is she going to have a go at me? Speak. Um, what were you saying to that bird? The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. Um, that's a druid. Come on now, surely a fellow druid is entitled to know. I... Forgive me. My love for my brethren is strong. But trust... It is... Delicate. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. Um. And she's wrong, question mark? Perhaps not. But that does not make it right. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. What happened to Hulsin? He left with the adventurers. They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Hulsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing. But he never returned. Shouldn't the ritual protect the grove? You are not helping the others prepare it. The ritual is Corgus' decision, but she is not our leader. 
Master Halsen welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Fair enough. It doesn't have a red thing that I'm stealing, so I imagine... Nice, I can take these. Very handy. 